Well, when we get rain, like we've seen lately, we all hope it'll prevent historic wildfires like the ones we endured in the year 2020. Yeah, well, it's been several years. The long-term impact remains, and that includes changes to Colorado's watershed. Dylan Thomas explains. And these fires are burning at, at higher level severities. They're burning at higher elevations. Since the historic fire season of 2020. We saw more of that forest burn in that year than the previous 36 years combined. When Colorado experienced three of its top five largest fires on record, climatologists have been studying how the impacts of the burn scars outlive the flames themselves, especially when it comes to Colorado's snowpack and watershed. As we you know, increasingly see these fires impacting the highest elevations of the West, where we accumulate these, these deep seasonal snowpacks, there's significant concerns about what that means for these resources. Colorado State University's Daniel McGrath has specifically studied the snowpack that fell on the Cameron Peak burn scar, Colorado's largest ever at 208,000 acres. What he learned is concerning. What we found in the Cameron Peak fire specifically is that we saw about a 20% reduction in the amount of uh, the snowpack that accumulated. The fire torched the canopy, allowing the snow to pass right through. At first, you might think you might see an increase in snow accumulation because you don't have this intercept that's occurring. But because we lose the forest, we see increases in wind speeds and other kind of fluxes through these forests. And that can actually lead to, to sublimation, or basically the snow going from a solid state to a vapor phase. They also found the snowpack is melting much faster on the scar. Anywhere from about 80 to 140% faster than unburned sites close to our study plots. The snow disappeared 11 to 13 days earlier from the burned landscape than it did from the unburned landscape. That is due not only to increased sun exposure, but by the ashes of the fire too. Tree remnants and, and stumps shed dark, sooty material onto the snow surface, and that changes how reflective the snowpack is. Darker snow means more energy is absorbed, causing rapid melting, meaning as the summer months go by, the soil will be drier earlier. Which can uh, impact seedling survival. So it's also coupled with how that landscape will regenerate and revegetate post-fire. So you may be wondering, will this increase in rapid snowmelt lead to flooding in Colorado's rivers? In short, the answer is, it's not likely, but experts do warn there will be impacts to Colorado's watershed, which will reach far beyond the Rockies. You know, we're already stretched so thin in our, in our water resources. 50 to 70% of the water resources in the West comes from the Rockies. With early and rapid runoff, water resources later in the summer and fall may be low. And so each year that we see increases in, in, in wildfires across the West, we're basically accumulating the impact across the region and increasingly impacting these, these essential water resources. Researchers warn each burn scar may carry lasting impacts for a decade each. These impacts uh, last for much longer than the single year of the fire. We're talking about all of the citizens of the Western US are gonna be impacted um, directly by these fires that are occurring in this region. In Larimer County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. And Dylan is committed to covering Northern Colorado for you, so please reach out to him. Just call the number you see there on your screen. You can also send him an email.